What's up everyone, it's Mark here, aka Give Your Anxiety, aka GUA, and I uh, got a bit of an announcement for you guys, uh, announcement slash story time basically, so um, yeah, I'll get straight into it basically. Um, so I guess kind of starting it off with the story time, it's a bit of both, so yeah, to basically get straight to the points, um, I was on the balance team for a jump first four. Um, you guys might have seen some of the players, you know, playing before a jump first four was released. Uh, you know, they were the FE um, balance testers, and I was one of the balance testers for Forgotten Empires. So my name was FE Mark R, and you guys might remember some of the YouTube videos, um, pre-launch of you know some game gameplay videos. Um, yeah, FE Mark R, that was me. Um, so yeah, I was playing, and then. I know some, a lot of people know, a lot of people know and a lot of people don't know. I feel like most people kind of know, but um, yeah, that was me. And I, um, yeah, so I was on the balance team and I recently quit. Um, yeah, I recently quit the job. Uh, I was working full time with them for a while and it was an amazing job. Uh, literally like one of my dream jobs, or it was my dream job. And it was a ton of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm making this video to give you guys an update on, I guess, what I was doing, what I am doing now, and what I'm going to be doing going forward. And uh, also, definitely want to say a big thank you to everyone that I worked with. Um, huge thank you to Relic, um, Microsoft, Forgotten Empires, you know, for developing Age Jumpers 4. It's, you know, games, the game is an amazing game. Um, yeah, it has some issues, of course, but um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing game. It's a ton of fun to play. And it's been really nice to see the launch be really successful and you know the game's winning like all these different uh, awards and the game's been getting really good reviews kind of everywhere so that's been really awesome to see and me being a developer i was on the balance team um that's it's really cool to see that you know a lot of my hard work uh that i put into it um yeah paid off the launch was really great so uh yeah, so yeah, I was on the balance team, um, and I was working full-time for a long time on the game when I was uh, on the balance team, and I guess before that, I was part of the Cardinal Council um, during like the alpha stages, uh, so I had a lot of like, you know, connections and stuff, and then, yeah, kind of through that, I eventually saw that there's a job opening for a bounce position, so uh, yeah, I applied for it a while back. And yes, yeah, it was a while ago. And uh, yeah, I applied for it, had, did the interview and all that, and got the job. Um, and yeah, it was a ton of fun uh, working as bounce tester. Uh, yeah, I mean, blast. My dream job, literally. Um, and so on October 1st, around, yeah, I think October 1st, I switched to working part time. So I was still on the bounce team, and I was, uh, and I was working out part time hours. And then there was like the stress tests and the betas and stuff. And the first beta is where you're allowed to stream. I was, yeah, I was working part time, but yeah. So basically, I'd work like I cut my hours in half. So I'd basically work like you know like four hours a day, Monday to Friday, and then I then I after I got off work, I you know as a balance tester, I'd then stream the game and play a, a ton, right? So I was like, yeah, I was playing a ton, and anytime I, I I never was streaming when I was working. Like if I was working as a balance tester. During my working hours, you know, that's that was I wasn't streaming not during that, of course. That's just separate. And then yeah, I'd basically get off work and then play the game more and just stream more since I obviously love the game. Um, yeah, so that was like in October, and then I quit. My last day uh, was like in the middle of December or so. Um, so since then, last like week or so, you guys might notice that I've been like streaming a lot and playing a lot. Um, so. Yeah, I guess basically my plan going forward right now is, or maybe, you know, hold, hold that thought. I'll say why I quit, I guess. Let me get into that. Oh, and you know what? Okay, so I did say thank you to Relic, FE, and Microsoft. Well, I'm still there, so I'm all over the place. But yeah, also a huge thank you to like everyone that I worked with, um, from all the different team, you know, people. It was uh, fantastic working with everyone. Um, and especially the guys, you know, that I've worked with on a daily basis. You know, gotta give a shout out to um, to, to Eric, Balance Lead, uh, Colin, Zach. You know, Zach is Zero Empires. You know, those guys were it was awesome working with them. Um, they did a ton of really great work. And um, yeah, and then the rest of the FE guys, Mike, Stefan, Frank, 
uh, Tristan, uh, yeah, it was awesome working with all you guys uh, on you know a daily basis. And yeah, I had a blast with the job. Definitely something I'll always remember and uh, yeah, pretty much always cherish in my life. So, um, and yeah, also a big thank you to like all the other guys like you know that I wouldn't work with on a daily basis. And it was really cool uh, how we had some awesome meetings and um, even like the high up people like Adam Eisgren, he would be, he would hop into our meetings sometimes and really listen to us. And it was really cool to be able to um, have our voices like heard even at you know the very top people and yeah there was like some instances where uh there would be an issue we would bring up and they would say oh like this won't be able to get fixed before launch or that you know this has to get pushed back and then like we told adam a couple times and he like made it, he was like wait a minute hold on let, let me get the ball rolling let me get this fixed so that was awesome like yeah just you know seeing the big guys like that have uh help and and listening to us that was really cool to see um, yeah, so overall, man, the job was a blast. It, of course, the job did have frustrations. Like, it was an amazing job. There was definitely frustrating points because, you know, there would be times when we knew something was an issue, like a, whether it was like a balance issue or a game design issue, whatever, and we would make suggestions, be like, hey, this like needs to get fixed. Like, it needs to get fixed by launch or it, like, you know, it needs to get fixed. And uh, for whatever reason, sometimes, like, things can't get fixed or, like, they, there's, timelines and there's deadlines and things like have to get pushed back and basically on the inside it's way more complicated than people think you know looking at it from the outside like not in game development like oh you want to make a change it should be easy and like obvious to make the change but you know when you're on the inside there's so so much more goes into it um and for a lot of different reasons like sometimes things can't get changed or they take much longer to change, get changed than you'd like. So there's for sure, you know, the frustrating parts um, of the job, but overall, you know, it was a great job, obviously. And um, yeah, so I guess the reason why I quit, um, I'll kind of get into that. So um, yeah, I might need to give you a little bit more background about myself, I guess, before that. So um, yeah, I mean, I've been playing the age games and RTS games basically my whole, my whole life. And I was working as a nurse before I took this job as the balance tester. I was working as a nurse and I worked as a nurse for like three years um, before I took this job as a balance tester. And as a nurse, I was making, um, you know, a lot of money. Not like a ton of money, but you know, as a nurse, you make a pretty good amount of money. So yeah, when I was working like full time as a nurse, um, it was a lot of money. Nursing, very tough job, very uh, stressful and stuff. And, um, but yeah, so I saw the job posting for the balance job and I was like, oh, you know, I got to apply, apply for this. It's been, you know, my dream job. And, um, yeah, so I took that and then I, I, I quit nursing for the balance job and, uh, yeah, had, had a blast working, doing that. And, um, but yeah, basically the reason main, well, one of the main reasons why I quits, um, is because basically my goal is... Like I really enjoyed working as a balance tester and I really enjoy like playing games and streaming games. Like, it's, you know, obviously I love it. And my goal would be for me to like be able to do it long term. And in order like to do it long term, it needs to be financially viable, like in the long term. So, um, you know, with FE, you have people working on the FE team from all around the world and you know, money goes further in certain areas, depending on where you live. Um, if you get paid the same amount, it, it, you might be able to stretch that money a lot further than in different areas. And I live in Chicago, Illinois. I live on the north side. Um, you know, I have a one-bedroom apartment, but it's pretty damn expensive here living here. Like, rent is really expensive, um, you know, compared to, like, different countries and just all around the world. Um, it, it's, it's really... It's quite expensive so you know when i was working full-time as a nurse i was making good money and things made sense but when i was in the balance team um it didn't you know it it didn't pay enough money where it was something like that would make make sense for me to do long term like uh, it would be tough for me to imagine doing that for like five ten years and you know like i wouldn't be financially well enough kind of uh, i guess to get to say 
So anyways, yeah, my goal is to, if I could somehow play games long term and it could like make sense financially, like that would be my ultimate goal. So so that's one reason why I left the balance team because I didn't see it as like a long term thing, um, like down the road. Uh, so basically, I left that to try to pursue streaming. I, I suppose, yeah, streaming and competing. Because I do love, I've loved playing the game so much. And I, as I was developing it, I knew like, oh, obviously, I really enjoy playing this game, and I want to be a big part of the community. I want to be streaming the game. I want to be competing, and I didn't want to run into obstacles where, oh, you're on the balance team, and that means like you can't compete in this tournament. Like it's sponsored by Microsoft or something, which means like you're not allowed to compete. I didn't want to have to run into that issue, and then I also wanted to be able to stream the game. Like streaming has been is my other dream job. I've been streaming on Twitch since like Twitch was created, um, like you know, ten plus years ago or whatever. And yeah, that it's been something I it's something I love doing, and something I always thought of like as a dream job. So that's basically me, my other dream job, which I'm now uh, pretty much pursuing. So, yeah, with all this said, basically, long story short, I worked on the balance team. I have now quit my job as a balance tester, and I'm now going to be a full-time streamer. I'm going to play Age of Empires 4 full-time, um, and I'm going to try competing and streaming. So, basically, yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm going to work, I'm going to stream full-time for two months. I'm going to give myself two months, and just, like, no matter what, I'm just going to this will be my full-time job. I'm, you know, going to stream minimum 40 hours a week. I'm going to treat it just like a full-time job. Um, and I'm going to give it two months and then see what happens. And it is extremely, extremely difficult to make money through streaming. Um, so, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's not going to be easy. Who knows? But, yeah, I really want to focus on competing and streaming. I want to do good in tournaments. Or I want to, yeah, do as good as I can in these tournaments going forward. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens after two months. So I'm gonna start this starting in January. So I'll do all of January and all of February, and then March first, I'll kind of reevaluate and see where I'm at there. Um, I mean, to be yeah, to be strict or not strict, to be straight to the point. Um, I might have to like. Yeah, either I'm gonna keep streaming full time as my job, or I'm gonna like quit and might potentially quit gaming entirely. If I if I realize oh like this just doesn't make sense, like this isn't something I can do realistically, you know I'm I'm already, I'm an adult. Like I have I have to pay rent, I have to pay my car payments, you know, uh, I have a lot of bills and stuff. So I can't like stream and and not be able to pay my bills, obviously. Uh, so we'll see. I'm going to give myself two months. And yeah, it's been like a dream of mine forever. Just like the idea of like pursuing streaming. Um, e even if I don't make, if you've, even if it doesn't work out, it's the type of thing where like I'd be happy that like I tried and, you know, I couldn't give up on it, but then be okay with it. And, you know, I, I don't want to have to like always wonder, oh, like what if, you know, I wish I would have tried this. Um, so yeah, basically giving it my big shot right here. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see, I guess, going forward. Um, but yeah, I think that's about everything I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, I guess a little bit more on the job. I wrote some things down, kind of. Yeah, so it was a ton of fun working on the working as the balance tester. And um, yeah, it's tough because, you know, obviously people don't see what the game was before launch and they don't see how far the game came. And you know what were the issues and all that stuff, and yeah, the team of people that I worked with, like my core core team, was like me, the rest of the FE guys that I mentioned, and then like Eric, Colin, and Zach. Like man, we would put, we would we were all super super passionate. So we would put in a bunch of hours. Like there's this type of thing where there's some you know we we worked Monday through Friday was our like working hours, and it was the type of thing where like sometimes we would you know hop in on the weekends and stuff. And we'd just be playing like late on a Saturday night and, you know, not getting paid. Um, just like voluntarily working overtime. Uh, and yeah, we were all super, super passionate. A ton of time like that where we were just like, you know, I would just put in extra time, overtime and not get paid for type of thing. 
uh, not not expecting money. Not not that I was expecting money, of course, but just that you know we were all super passionate, obviously. And yeah, we wanted the game to be as good as it could be. And uh, and yeah, I guess to touch on balance, why there might be some issues with patches, like the frequency of patches. Obviously, I have NDAs, so I can't like I can't break my old existing NDAs. Like they're still NDAs and stuff, so I have to be careful with what I say and all that. But um, yeah, I mean. It's frustrating as like a community member. It's me frustrating for me as a player. It's frustrating at times. Like, oh, why are patches like so infrequently, or why isn't this getting patched, and what, and all that stuff. And yeah, I mean, behind the scenes, it's it's really complicated, I guess. And it's not that the balance team does don't want to do changes. If it was up to the balance team, they would patch the game like any every chance that they could. Like they would patch the game every like three weeks, or like they would patch the game every opportunity that they could so it's not that like the balance team doesn't want to make balance changes it's just that like there's only certain times or dates or deadlines where we are allowed to put in our changes even though the balance team is internally testing a ton of stuff and like internally they may be changing their balance patch like all the time you know to continually progress with the balance work but you can only do public patches like when you get the approval basically uh, which uh, can be very very frustrating um, and hopefully patches become more frequent going forward and stuff I'm not gonna get into that now but I don't know yeah I guess that's it for this video I think I rambled quite a bit hopefully hopefully this video I don't know made sense it wasn't too too much rambling um, yeah, I, I mean, I know, I know some people knew I was on the balance team. Uh, some, of course, a ton of people didn't. But yeah, I know like Drongo would sometimes say, um, you know, that I was on balance team. People in, like the Cardinal Council, uh, you know, potentially knew I was on like the staff. But people might not have known exactly what I was doing or to what degree. Uh, but yeah, oh, and then also for the tournament Genesis, the first tournament, you know, post launch the EGC TV tournament Genesis. Um, the reason why I didn't compete in that was because I worked on the balance team, and uh, yeah, I wasn't allowed to compete. Actually, man, I, I did really want to compete in that. It would have been interesting, um, but it made sense. I was I was okay with it. Like it was the first tournament after the launch, so as a balance tester, I of course had a really big head start. Um, so yeah, it made sense that like they didn't allow us to compete in that tournament. It, it would have been a ton of fun to compete in it, but uh, I was okay with it. I accepted it. Um, and uh, yeah, so going forward, I'm gonna be streaming full time, and yeah, I guess to talk about that a little bit. So obviously, I was better in the early days, well, because I had a head start and all that. But recently, some might have fallen off a bit. But uh, in the last couple of events, I, I didn't do too well. But I did go on a vacation prior, and I don't know I wasn't playing as much. Like, competitions heated up a ton, obviously. But, yeah, basically, you know, I want to get back to being really good. Um, even just today, I kind of stopped playing French on Quick Search, and I started playing, like, Roost in China. And it's, like, some feels so much easier to win with, like, some other civs. So, I think I'm going to start climbing the ladder a lot again. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be going really, really hard at it. Um, so, yeah, for the next two months, uh, I'm going to be a full-time streamer gonna be playing full time and I guess to give you guys some insight on what that would look like for me you know full-time job is you work 40 hours a week so I'm treating this as my full-time job which means I'm gonna be streaming a minimum 40 hours a week um, and as I said you know I used to be a nurse and when I was working as a nurse you know you'd work 12 hour shifts so um, how some of my normal days would look as a nurse I was living on north side pretty far from the hospital that i worked at and so i so i worked night shift i worked from 7 p.m to 7 a.m my shift would start at 7 p.m so i would drive one hour to work and then i would work a 12 and a half hour shift and then i'll drive an hour home and i get home at like 9 30. so basically my regular work day would be a like 14 and a half hour day that was just a normal day of work 
Um, so that's like, you know, how it is as a nurse and, you know, you have long, long shifts and, and all that. Um, so I feel like through all my work experiences, like in real life, I have like a really good work ethic and like work mentality. And I put that towards my job when I was on the balance team. I use that same kind of philosophy and I tried to, you know, work as hard as I could and, you know, put in the hours and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that same philosophy and work ethic um, as a full-time streamer for the next two months. So, you know, a regular a regular nursing shift, you know, it was 12 and a half hours plus the like hour commute there and back, and, you know, turn those days in like 14 and a half hour a day. So, you know, if I can do that with a job that, you know, I, I enjoyed being a nurse, but I wasn't, you know, it wasn't a dream job, it, it was tough. Um, but yeah, if I could do like a 14 and a half hour day as a nurse, and that's just a regular day of work, then I should be able to work like a 14 and a half hour shift, uh, you know, like streaming or like a 12 hour shift streaming, right? Not that I'm gonna do like 14 hour streams, but I mean, I'll do some 12 hour streams. We're gonna be, getting, we're gonna be doing some 12 hour streams, I'll guarantee that. So yeah, basically, you know, a regular day of nursing is that. Uh, I should be able to put that, that same hours and that same mentality into like my dream job of being a streamer. So yeah, I'm gonna go at this really, really fucking hard. Um, to give you guys an idea of like my mindset going into this. Yeah, that's me my mindset. I'm gonna do this for two months, and um, yeah, we'll see in two months. I don't know, maybe in two months I'll retire gaming completely. I realize this just isn't making sense financially at all, not even close or something. And maybe I'll just quit gaming and I don't know, and then go back to nursing. That's the other option for me. Um, Nursing is a good career where it's quite easy to get back into since it's really high in demand. So I have all my nursing license, my nursing license still active. And um, yeah, if I decide I want to go back to being a nurse, then I, I can definitely do that. And yeah, that's basically where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna give this two months. And yeah, if it doesn't work out, then I'll probably just quit playing video games, kind of retire and uh, just go back to working as a nurse and you know go back to the real world. But for now, I'm gonna go really hard at this for two months. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for tournaments that will be coming up. And yeah, I hope you guys will check out my stream and watch. And uh, yeah, it's me, I'm gonna be streaming every day. Like, yeah, probably literally like every day. So, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead super hard. Uh, but yeah, I think that's enough rambling. Yeah, I know I was probably like really back and forth in this video. I was trying to put together how I want to, what I even wanted to say. and and how I wanted to say it and what order and all that. But yeah, hopefully it was uh, bearable for you guys. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Well, see you at twitch.tv slash give your anxiety. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.